it weren't so serious, it would actually be funny. Well, for more on the standoff on Capitol Hill, I spoke earlier to Republican Congressman Tom Cole from Oklahoma. I started by asking what the big issue was that was worth shutting down the government over. I think the big issue, obviously, is all government funding runs out on September the 30th. Uh, do we extend that for a period of days while we have a larger budget deal, which would include the debt ceiling and the so-called sequester, which are mandatory across the board spending cuts? I think we should. Uh, in the meantime, we would like to make some relatively modest changes in the president's health care proposal. Again, one that only applies essentially to members of Congress and their staff and senior executive appointees. That is, uh, not give them a special subsidy that no other American gets who's on the exchange. And second, to make sure that uh, while we're letting off big business, the president himself uh, delayed the mandate for them, that we not force individual Americans into the system. Now, if they want to go ahead and participate, they certainly can. We're not talking about shutting down the exchanges or denying people that are eligible for subsidies from getting them. But we are saying you shouldn't force other Americans to participate in this system if they don't choose to do so. What is it that you and your Republican colleagues dislike so intensely about the president's health care bill that you are prepared to shut down the U.S. government over it? Well, you know, there's a lot of things I don't like about it that I'm not prepared to shut down the government over. You know, I certainly don't like the fact that it takes $700 billion out of Medicare and transfers it to Obamacare. I don't like all the taxes that go with it. We've not tried to do that. All we've said is that, look, individual members of Congress who are now mandated to participate in this should not get a special subsidy. Same is true with other uh, high-ranking appointed uh, people in the executive branch. And second, uh, simply since the system really is isn't quite ready to go. The president himself has delayed huge portions of it. Uh, don't force individual Americans into a system that's simply, uh, uh, you know, by your own actions, clearly not uh, ready for prime time. The American public says that you will get the blame. The Republicans will get the blame if the government shut down. Is it worth it for your party? Well, I think shutting down, the, who gets the blame to me? Caddy's always been an irrelevant uh, argument. It's who gets hurt. And in that sense, I actually do agree that shutting down the government's not a good thing to do. That's why we've tried to keep it open. Every uh, item that we've passed has kept the government open. Uh, you know, I don't uh, think that it's helpful for federal employees not to be working. I don't think that it's helpful for people that depend on services and need regulatory advice and input or visas and passports not to have them readily available. So we've worked awfully hard to keep the entire government up and operational. We're trying to make some changes to Obamacare, and the ones we've got on the table right now are pretty modest. They mostly affect members of Congress, and they mostly give individual Americans the right to decide whether or not uh, they should be subjected to the mandates of this law. Okay, Congressman Tom Cole, thanks very much. Thank you, Katty.